Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No. I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red. Hot head red. Hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it! Finally! Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey! We got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. Welcome everyone to a special milestone episode for the Buzz and Cole Show. Today, working we, title. Cole, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary of doing this podcast. We've long surpassed the time frame that something can be considered a working title. Who are you? The working title police? No, I'm the sanity police. Let me see your badge then. Okay, well, not only is this a huge moment in history for us, but it's also a massive weekend coming up with WrestleMania and the Hall of Fame ceremony headlined by the induction of best friends, Red and Trey. Hey, speaking of best friends going into the Hall of Fame together, when do you think we'll go in? Um, I mean this in the nicest way, but that is never going to happen. What do you mean? Well, we are best friends, but I've done my thing here and you've had a great career too, but it's all been outside of WWE. Not to mention the biggest factor keeping you out, which is the Triple H incident. What? You mean when we invaded NXT together like 12 years ago? I would think he's gotten over that by now. No, I mean when three years ago someone spray painted Triple H as a stupid turkey on his driveway. Well, for the last time, that wasn't me. Cole, he has security camera footage of you doing it. Plus, you always call people turkeys. Anyone who thinks I would do something like that jeopardizing my career and my best friend is a giant stupid turkey. See? You just said it. Only because you said it first. It, it was in the ether. Well, I think we've managed to get wildly off topic, which, if you've been listening for the past 10 years, is par for the course around here. How about we take a quick break to regroup? Fine. I don't need a break. Only stupid turkeys need breaks. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah, but thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, 
but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in Falls Count Anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. You don't see that very often. Falls Count Anywhere matches are uniquely demanding. He should know that. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap. Well, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Uh-oh. Phoenix Splash! Gosh, how'd he do that? Corey, what can a superstar do if they find themselves playing defense in this match? You gotta find a way to create separation and buy yourself some time. Collect yourself. Otherwise, the beatings will continue. It's a battlefield out there, and you have to navigate around the landmines. Hook them up. High angle belly of back suplex. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. He better hope he can sustain this right across the face. Engineering! He might have been waiting on that one. Belly to belly! Vicious. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Blockbuster! AJ Styles is not looking so good here. With no safe haven in sight, he has no chance for recovery. Oh, man, AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. Oh, uh, no! Oh! Stun gun! AJ Styles with a nice reversal! Toss to the outside. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. When AJ starts this stuff, I kind of lose interest. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. between the ropes. Oh, what impact. Bang right in the face. Oh, what a forearm. A striking blow. Big headbutt. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. They're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time where matches are won and lost. Oh, targeting the stomach. AJ Styles rolls through. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. A back suplex. He has become relentless at this point. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. <laughs> Narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad. AJ Styles 
Styles with a nice reversal. Single leg drop kick caught him. AJ Styles made him pay there. Big time. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. Scoop slam. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh. More punishment to the core. That'll leave you doubled over in pain. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Look at this. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. Step suplex. Very nice. That is a great reversal. Single leg drop kick caught him. Watch this. Oh. Well scouted reversal there. Ah, look at this. Got the up. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. And again, yet another counter. Boom! Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks. He's got him down. This is it. One, two, three. All good things must come to an end, but I wish that match could have gone on a little longer. But guys, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Well, this match will continue. I'm not sure that's a good thing. That's an impressive win. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right. Now I remember. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud and Ugh. it is mad in here. Really Jeez. focusing on her core here. It's almost as if she's obsessed with destroying her midsection. Again, assaulting the torso. Uh, referee might want to think about stepping in here. had it scouted Bob ah, backdrop suplex 
Natalia is a superstar who knows how to go the distance, weather the storm, and tough it out. She isn't someone to overlook. No one's saying Natalia's being overlooked, but she can sometimes get caught up in playing to the WWE Universe. All it takes is one taunt too many, and her opponent can get the advantage over her. Natalia may be a veteran, but once her strategy flies out the window, she scrambles. Taking it to her midsection yet again. How she's absorbing this punishment is beyond me. Continuing to punish the core here. This has clearly been part of the game plan all along. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Really focusing on her core here. It's almost as if she's obsessed with destroying her midsection. And yet another attack on the... Really focusing on her core here. It's almost as if she's obsessed with taking it to her midsection yet again. How she's absorbing this punishment... And more damage to the midsection. This is how people get seriously hurt. And it's Natalia with the reversal. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. And yet another attack on the torso. The referee might need to make a tough decision here, Michael. Taking it to her midsection yet again. How she's absorbing this punishment is... The attack on the torso continues. Wise move, taking out the core here, Michael. Oh, really wow. focusing on her core here. It's almost as continuing to punish the core here. This has clearly been part of the game. Really focusing on her core here. It's almost as if she's obsessed with... And more damage to the midsection. This is how people get seriously hurt. <laughs> Chalk up another one. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac! What's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard-only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's... interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. Hey, you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're going to help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are going to miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean... A big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible, considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is going to be cool. I know. 
Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Gord Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. You know, it's that time of year where I like to remind everyone that in just a couple of short months, winter will be back. So while you're out enjoying the end of summer, keep in mind that pretty soon you'll be trading in tank tops for toques and sandals for skates. My point is, it's never too early to take inventory of last season's winter gear and make sure everything is ready to go before the first blast of cold air hits. Like I always say, you don't want to be caught with your snow pants down. One thing that isn't seasonal, however, is Calgary's love for professional wrestling. Which brings us to our sponsor for today's show, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Let's hear from the man himself. Hi, I'm Riley Flash. You may know me from WWE television when I carried the macho man's fancy chair to the ring or the time Papa Shango set my feet on fire. Uh, nowadays, I'm helping mold the superstars of tomorrow. So if you think you have what it takes to step in the ring, come on down to Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And for a limited time, if you mention this ad, your first training session is completely free, other than a one-time non-refundable initiation fee. So if you think you have what it takes, then give me a ring, and I'll see you in the ring. Riley Flash is not affiliated with WWE in any way whatsoever. All sales final. for a road trip game, if you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 245 pounds. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And remember, when he gets on a roll, he's nearly impossible to stop. You are absolutely right, Cole. So I would expect to see his opposition do everything possible to prevent momentum from swinging too much to his side. Things just got a little rowdier. And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper! 
Don't throw rocks at a man with a machine gun. A former tag champion, a former Intercontinental champion, a former United States champion, and a main eventer at the very first WrestleMania. Hot Rod. Yeah, the unmistakable, hot-tempered personality, fiery, volatile style inside the ring. Iron Hot Rod pretty much summed up your and I relationship in one phrase. Don't throw rocks at a man that's got a machine gun. So you know when you're on a long drive to the next town and to pass the time, you start coming up with dream match scenarios? Well, these two facing each other is exactly that. These are certainly two of the top names to ever pass through the Great White North. When well, I'm on a long drive, I'm mostly just thinking about how grateful I am to be Byron Free at the time. Ah, uh, you know you miss me. Not a chance. This match grinded him down a little. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Uh-oh. Phoenix Flash! Oh gosh, how'd he do that? Hook them. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Yeah, he's riding the wave as he should. Up and sharp knee. Amazing reflexes on display. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. Uh-oh. Phoenix Flash! Oh gosh, how'd he do that? Now Roddy Piper making him pay. Whoa, it's another reversal. Oh, the European uppercut. And here we go now, elbow drop! Oh, impressive counter! An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. That's how you wear down your opponent. Cutter. He's got the shoulders down. the shoulder up. This is amazing. Oh my god. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Gets out of dodge there. Uh-oh. Shot in the back. Rolling cutter. That might just do it. Such incredible impact. Wow, let's see that again. And this has got to be it! One, two, three! Tucker's 
card for the bell. The match is over. Take another look back at the action. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Who could forget this? victory here tonight i could watch them go at it each and every week what a match it'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight <sighs> this is it the home of the famous dungeon i swear i can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain <laughs> that's my stomach for the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello! Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Bret! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Bret's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So, Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens, like, once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm.
Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! What was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omli. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch? On account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names? I don't know about the awesome part. <laughs>